All right, I got some gameplay here where I get a shitload of kills with the Spartan laser. I get like 15 kills with the Spartan laser. I get like 25 kills total. This is a big team uh, 6v6 on the DLC playlist for uh, Noble Noble Map Pack and Halo Reach Breakpoint. Yeah, pretty awesome. I did this gameplay like uh, I don't know, like four years ago, and I'm just now uploading it. So yeah, check it out. Pretty awesome. Look at this guy, he's a fucking moron. Like, Jesus Christ, turn around at least. My god, some players are bad. Anyway, I want to talk about Sprint. Because, uh, there are some retards out there, like Fagin, who think that, uh, Sprint ruined Halo, apparently. Apparently, um, the simple act of being able to move slightly faster from time to time, apparently that's a big problem in the Halo games. And it has ruined Halo, and that's the reason why Halo is, like, super unpopular compared to when it used to be with, uh, with Halo 3. Now, here's the thing. Halo Reach was just about as popular as Halo 3, which is saying a lot considering that, um, that, uh, uh Halo Reach is just a spin-off, and it was advertised less, it cost less money to make, and it, it, it showed up after ODST, which a lot of people thought was a ripoff, and they have a point. And it also had to compete with M Modern Warfare 2, the biggest uh, Call of Duty game of all time, pretty much. And also Black Ops 1, which was also super fucking popular. So, yeah. Halo Reach competed with Halo 3 pretty fucking well. If you take into consideration that Reach had a bunch of disadvantages in the market compared to Halo 3 anyway. But anyway, um, the argument that uh, morons like Favin are making is that Sprint uh, is what started the downfall of Halo. And that is fucking retarded because most, most players, they're not like super competitive and... Uh, See, the competitive players, they, they are super anti-sprint. They uh, take the game very seriously, and they, they expect the Halo games to play a certain way. Arena, shooter, melee, grenades, and gunplay, that's it. Nothing else. No armor abilities, no sprinting, no other things like that. They just, that's the way they like it. Fine. You know, fine. That's the way you like it. But guess what? Most Halo players are not that kind of player. Like, maybe 10%, not even, are highly competitive players that try really hard and take the game very seriously. Most people, they just want to fucking play for fun like me. They just want to run around and kick some ass and do some goofy shit, you know? They, they really don't want to be MLG Elite Pro Badass. I go to tournaments, I win money. No, most people, they have lives. They uh, don't take video games that seriously. But... The small vocal minority makes the argument that Sprint is ruining Halo. That, that because Reach introduced Sprint, that was a bad thing, and that um, Halo is in deep shit now because of that. That's a very stupid-ass fucking argument, especially considering Reach was pretty much just as popular as Halo 3. And if you also look at Halo 3 compared to Halo Reach right now, way more people are playing Reach than Halo 3, so... So what the fuck, you know? Anyway, um, what ruined, what ruined, what ru what's ruining Halo right now is 343. Not some stupid fucking sprint mechanic, okay? That's small potatoes compared to Halo 4 having an identity crisis and not knowing if it's Halo or Call of Duty. That uh, sprint is nothing compared to fucking master craft collection being a $60 drink coaster, okay? Sprint in Halo is nothing compared to Halo 5 removing split screen, which is probably the coolest thing about the Halo games. Like, you see, these are real fucking problems. Some fucking run button is not a big fucking deal, alright? And even if you don't like it, there are there are playlists in Reach that don't even have sprints, so just just play those. No need to bitch. Although I do understand that there's uh 
no playlists in Halo 4 or Halo 5 that disable Sprint. So, if you really can't stand Sprint, then that really sucks for you that Halo 4 and Halo 5 are are Sprint Halo games where you can't disable Sprint. Well, I heard you can disable Sprint in Halo 5, but but only in customs. You can't actually go into match ma matchmaking playlists that disable Sprint, which is uh, pretty shitty. I mean, they made a uh, Halo 5 playlist that is, uh, th what is it? It is, um, it's trying to be like Halo 1, but they left in Spartan abilities for some jackass reason. So whatever. Anyway, um, but honestly, it, it doesn't suck for those people because you know why? Halo 4 and Halo 5 are shitty Halo games anyway, so you shouldn't be fucking playing them in the first place. I'm sorry, but it's true. They they feel like Call of Duty games. They don't feel like Halo games. They're very noob friendly too. They got like bullet magnetism up the ass. Way worse than Reach. Way worse than uh, Halo 3 and Halo 1. It's just about as bad as Halo 2's VR plasma pistol combo, you know? And uh, of course we got the microtransactions tacked on to Halo 5. Of course you got the uh, lack of content and replay value. Lack of options and variety in Halo 4 and Halo 5. So why the fuck would you want to play those shitty games in the first place? They're, they're mediocre shooters on their own. They're terrible fucking Halo games is what they are. Holy shit, I just stuck that dude on the dick. That sounded really gay. Yep. He's got a case of the blue balls. Nice. Anyway, uh, but yeah, that's what that's what's fucking ruining Halo is low quality Halo games created by 343. That's what's ruining Halo. Not some fucking running mechanic that you don't have to necessarily deal with in order to enjoy the game. What's ruining Halo is 343. I can't make that any more clear to you dumbasses out there who think Sprint ruined Halo. Like even if Sprint is a bad thing in your in your eyes for the Halo franchise, whatever. That's nice. But that is factually, by far, one of the least things you should be concerned about when it comes to Halo being in the shitter. Seriously. Alright, now enjoy the rest of the goddamn video. Oh yeah, I laser these motherfuckers. Laser spree. Damn it, I got raped by that fucking wraith. Just lost my snipe. Fuck my life. I want to rage quit. Going up against the tank. Oh yeah, I get so lucky right here. This is ridiculous. Like I'm in the shootout, my teammates come in, they help me, and my teammates get sniped down, dude. By some fucking dickhead sniper. But he didn't shoot me for some reason, I'm like, fuck! So I got the fuck out of there. Oh, that guy fucked up. Thanks for the rockets, dumb bitch. Yeah, I can tell I don't have post in this match. People bitch about armor lock too. It's not that hard to deal with. See what I just did? People argue it slows down the gameplay. Halo's gameplay has always been slow, dude. You're supposed to play Halo like it's a game of fucking chess, not like fucking Call of Duty, which is more like checkers, alright? Call of Duty, you just run. I think Angry Joe summed up Call of Duty 
perfectly. It's just a bunch of wannabe Rambos running around in a circle like hungry, hungry hippos shooting each other to death. And, and at the end, they see who has the most kills. That's <laughs> pretty much Call of Duty in a nutshell. Like in, in Halo, you, you gotta have, well, at least the Bungie Halo game, you gotta have a, a little bit of strategy. You can't just sprint, gun everyone down, sprint, gun everyone down, sprint. Oh, they gunned me down this time. No, it's not stupid like that. Halo is a little more, has a little more strategy game to it. Look, over. and then we win, and at the end of this game, some fucking dickhead on my team shoots me in the ass with a fucking Spartan laser. I mean, a fucking sticky grenade launcher. Fucking piece of shit. What an asshole, right? That's what I get for winning the game for us. Well, actually... Actually, if you take away my kills, we still would've won, so whatever. They sucked. But anyway, the point of this video was just to show that goofy shit off and uh, to, uh, yeah, to remind everyone that Sprint, you may not like it, and you might have a few arguments. Some of them are not bad, but that that's far from the, the main reason why Halo is in the shitter, okay? I just want to make that clear to all you Sprint haters out there. Like I said, I think you guys might have some decent arguments to a certain degree. Not really, but kinda. But you guys are missing the bigger picture here, and that's that 343 is the reason the Halo games suck balls now. Well, okay, that was mean. They don't suck balls. They suck balls compared to the Bungie Halo games, which offer a way, way, way more... Uh, a replay value and content and fun and just overall you can just feel the quality like those games were made with passion Joe Staten, Mario O'Donnell, they worked their asses off you know to make that game as good as it is Halo 1, Halo 2, Halo 3 and Halo Reach even ODST but uh, the, these uh, 343 Halo games when you play them you get the you get the vibe that they were created just to drain your wallet and leave you with a generic game experience that you can pretty much find in a Call of Duty game anyway. You see what I mean? That what I just said right there is the fucking truth. So, no offense, Fagin, but just shut the fuck up. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about.